In Afghanistan, we are witnessing a revolutionary, a transformative way of ending acute food insecurity crises quickly. So often we've seen that an acute food insecurity crisis becomes protracted. One year, two years becomes 10 years. This means acute, deep, enduring human suffering. It also creates risks of displacement, of instability, and also threatens agricultural livelihoods. and the humanitarian costs involved with protracted food insecurity crises are enormous. In late 2021, FAO and our partners started receiving significant amounts of funding for emergency agricultural assistance. And it's this that has been the game changer. It's this we're now seeing is moving the dial. Last year, FAO was able to reach more than 6 million people across Afghanistan. This year, it'll be 8 million people. Wheat seeds and fertilizer for $250, enabling a family to grow sufficient wheat to satisfy its annual requirement. And let's remember, these seeds don't last one year. They last two years, three years, even four years. And remember too that farmers don't keep the seeds for themselves. They share them with their neighbors at the end of each se season, swapping grain for flour with seeds that, they, that their neighbors can also plant. And farmers are telling us the yields are, are double, even more compared to what they get normally. BHA has been a vital part of this, providing us with 30 million uh, US dollars we've been able to use to reach 1.26 million people with wheat seed, just under half a million people with livestock feed, and also 35,000 households, over 210,000 people with multi-purpose cash. It's moving the dial, it's changing the way that we are responding to food insecurity crises, because we had agricultural assistance at scale right at the start. And what we're seeing now from the latest IPC projections, that the trend is reversing. We are seeing a decline in the levels of acute food insecurity, and this will continue. Yes, it's due to many, many factors, climate, food assistance, but we know too that, that agricultural assistance is helping to steepen that decline. And we'll see more next year and the year after. We've shown that it's relatively low cost, that it can be done, and it's also what farmers want and it's what they need. It is changing the way that we respond to acute food insecurity crises.